Greetings from the woods of Tennessee. It's Mad Shad and Charity. In the woods of Tennessee. Here we have some older woods and some younger woods. Very young. So what are we going to talk about today? Ooh. Oh shit, we have Chinese... We have Devil's Walking Stick. Right there. There's two of them. And three of them. <laughs> Gnarly. There seems to be a lot of Devil's Walking Stick in here, actually. One, two, three... <laughs> Four, five. Ooh. It appears this is a road. Maybe a road. I wanted to go that way, but I don't know. So what are we gonna talk about today? Heh. <laughs> I wanted to uh, get into something that we all know and love, and it applies to this day and age. This type of technical autocracy that we're living in, this, uh, this era of fear, perpetual fear. Um, well, it seems that throughout history, quite some time that we've been lied to and manipulated as a mass species. We, we seem to be very uh, susceptible to that. <laughs> Especially to the fear part. Fear. Fear this, fear that. Fear the new bug. Fear the new war. Fear the new enemy. You know, fear can be easily translated into anger. And then turned into action. It's something that's been <coughs> used for, <laughs> oh man, since the dawn of time. Sun Tzu, Otter War. <laughs> to uh, To win without fighting is best. We have another deer stand. Yo ho! Anybody here? I'm gonna check this thing out. So they do hunt here. This is somebody's hunting land. <laughs> That's a good looking one here. Looks like it's had a tree on it. <laughs> Alright. I guess we're safe. Fear. And so we've seen that throughout time, things have changed drastically. We tried to live without fear. And every now and then, something happens where 
the people <laughs> stop living in fear and throw off the chains that bind that's how we got this country the United States of America we got tired of the old oligarchy now there's a new one And it's telling us to fear everything. <laughs> you know, as humans, we're, we're probability machines. That's, that's what we do. We, we assess probabilities, threat assessments, and things like that. So anything that you say that I need to fear, well... We have to look at it. Objectively, critically, subjectively, esoterically, we have to look at it. Analytically, you name it, it must be analyzed. Analyzed, categorized, and Put into its threat level. Uh, we might have a deer sign. It's either a white-tailed deer or somebody's in the woods with us. It's a white-tailed deer. Can you see the movement? Anyway, and maybe that's what's needed. Maybe that's why we do, we, we have this, these, these fear mongers, especially those that are in <clears throat> charge. They've always been in charge of our fear. That's how they take charge and steal fear. So therefore, uh, charity's tracking. And steal the fear and gain the compliance. What happens when fear the mind doesn't know? What happens then? You could call it the devil. I would call it def I would definitely call it evil. It's definitely an evil that controls this world and controls us. Tries to anyway. They try to. And they do it through economic and social and religious ways and it works it really does work wow there's a lot of devil's walking stick around here <laughs> these things hurt seems to be a a whole forest of it. <laughs> so how do you break the chains that bind? Most vets will tell you that you got to go through something that is very, uh, very traumatic and fearful. And you're done with fear. Charity, come. Come. On me, girl. On me, Charity. Yeah. Hit the trail. And then you, uh, you basically just stop fearing. 
jumping out of planes. And, uh, <laughs> running into bullets, running into a firefight. Firemen running into burning buildings. You know, fighting, fighters. There's always that little bit of pang of fear until you get into it. And if you do it enough times, there's no fear. Well, guess what we haven't done in a while? <laughs> we have been living in nice, beautiful complacency. Enjoying the fruits of our labor. Enjoying the fruits of our forefathers' labor and battles. Now is the time for us to take up the mantle. And notice, there are indeed chains upon us. And we must throw them off. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. If you live your life in fear, you will be controlled. It's the way it works. If you comply, you lose. Ow. They win. They've been doing this for countless centuries. And like I said, you only need 30% of the population would do as they told. 30%. Willingly. Just quickly, with the immediate response to orders, they will do it. Another 40% will say, okay. I guess we need to go along to get along. Don't really much like it. They're on the fence. But they will, uh, they go along with some reluctancy just because they know that it's it's just better to comply to get what they want so it's a uh, it's a means to an end they do this to comply so that they can better themselves carry on commerce Whatever the case may be. Hope, oh, yeah, make me turn around. They do whatever they're told, but they don't like it. There's another thirty percent. That's left, right? Well, 40, 50, 60, 70, yep. It's 20%. Let's say, screw that. Fuck it all. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. And they're uh, quite open about it. Charity, you can make me go under this damn thing. Huh. And there's always that 10% of the population that, well, they do what they want anyway. <laughs> you never see them. <laughs> Stay. You never see them. They mess around.
They're on the fringes of society anyway. Always have been. Oh my god. Oh, major highway. Well, nope. This way. There's 20% rebel rouser. Those are the patriots. Those are your your three percenters. Your all those guys, you know, guys and gals that that they want to do what the hell they want to do. They see and they're vocal about what's going on. They will not comply. Oh. <laughs> now I'm here. Uh, so yeah, I uh, ran into some uh, some. Well, I found a cop that was hiding, so I, I figured I'd turn off everything and you know, get through the area with charity. Uh, <laughs> you know the uh, the uh, the police around here they they like to hide in the woods, and uh, that's that's their speed traps. So uh, you know kind of walking up on a cop while he's hanging out eating a donut <laughs> watching traffic in the woods you know it's... he don't expect that so anyway uh <laughs> back home now um so what was i talking about fear yeah fear so you're always going to have that that 20 percent that just fire in their eyes and fire in their belly and always they're gonna they're the ones that wrote the constitution they're the ones that went off to to take up arms you know against the british uh against the french against the indians against the portuguese against the spanish against the in everyone <laughs> you know all enemies foreign and domestic right uh so And uh, you're always going to get that. And that's why we have such a great military. Is because that was tapped into. It's always been tapped into. It's always been tapped in that, oh, okay, you guys are really willing to go and fight and die for whatever the cause may be. So, what if that compliant 30% was the military? Hmm, then we have a problem. <laughs> you know, they've often said is that, you know, the people should not fear their government, the government should fear their people. When the people fear their government, there's tyranny. Government fears its people, there's freedom. Now what's going to happen? It's all this is going to be erased. Everything. Erased. And a new set of parameters are going to be set up. A new set of morals and ethics. We already see it. We do, don't we? So, this is not a... And one could say it's a war for your soul. I kind of agree with that. Of course, that thing is very free, isn't it? So, what do we do? What did we do? Look at history. Look at history before they sponge it, before they wipe it all clean, rewrite history, because that's what they're going to do. That's what they are doing. They're rewriting history. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Look at China. They have a very rich and long history. Long and rich goes back thousands of years. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 years. India claims that it's even longer for them. But under the new ruling, the new regime, since Mao Zedong took over, uh, that history changed. It's hard to find the real history now. We know it, uh, and uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the world knows it. Um, it was, yeah, you got to love historians and, and, and people that love that, you know, love history. They, uh, they, they preserve it. So it's preserved, but it's in an ivory tower. Only a select few will know the truth. And the rest of us slaves will uh, will get to know what they tell us to know—a subjective history to fit the narrative. So. <laughs> You can you can call it what you will. All these all these uh, things we have to do, we really don't have to. They're just mere suggestions. <laughs> some at the some with violence, a little violence is is uh, you know needed to move the cattle along, right? Watching hawks, hawks and eagles soar high and free above the cloud, above the land, hunting. <laughs> yeah. So, This has been Mad Shad. I'm going to end it here. <laughs> Encouraging all to continue to train, continue to prep. As we all know, it's a mad, mad world out there.